All right, boys, we got Henry versus Abram. I uh, want to do a film room on this. This is from Clef the Gods stream. And I did want to quickly touch on the decision of the MCS to do these watch parties. Um, I will say uh, most of the streamers did really well uh, with the watch parties. Biggest issue for me is if you're, if you're given a game, uh, in my opinion, you need to stay on that game because you're the only person that you can actually watch that specific game on. I think that there's some real, real um, uh, planning, I guess, on EA's part. They're going to probably continue to do these watch parties. I don't love it because you can't actually, if they're going to do the watch parties, that's, that's honestly fine. Just get the archive of the game. Um, I don't like having to go to like, I don't like having to rip stuff from streams and stuff like that. So, uh, and the reason why is, is primarily just because the quality is just not, not as, not as good. Um, and it's just, it's just more, uh, it's just more, uh, of a big deal. So anyways, that being said, that's all I'm going to really say about it. I don't think it's a great decision on EA's parts to do that, but they're probably going to continue to do that. And it's probably, if it's EA, you know, something to do with money. So they don't want to have the people there for two days. I don't know. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and get into this. So Henry is playing Abram. This is a big matchup. Um, this is Henry's first live event of the Madden 25 season. And I believe that this is Abram's third or maybe even f he's made, gosh, has he made every event? I know he's made at least three. Um, but anyways, Abram's been on the stage a lot. He's gotten close. He was a semifinal against John. He was in the finals against Fancy. Um, you know, Abram has shown that he's really, really good at this game. Uh, Henry is going to be in the Eagles playbook offensively. Abram's going to be in the Chargers playbook. And Abram is going to be in this 3-3-5 three, three, odd uh, type of defense where we're going to contain these guys. We're going to walk this guy out and we're going to send pressure this way. Um, if you want my version of this defense, it's in our school community. You can get everything in our school community for just 10 bucks by being a member, and it gets you access to all of our college and offensive, uh, college and Madden offensive and defensive eBooks. Henry goes to Bunch Nasty, kind of a standard setup out of Smash Return. And notice that he's going to be coming out in Bunch Nasty and audibling into this normal Y off close. This is a formation that's gained a ton of steam, and this double seam throw is very effective. Able to hit that seam streak to high it and able to get out of there. Let's take a look at this play again. This is a quick hike play. Henry loves to quick hike. He is going to block his running back. It looks like he's doing something over here pass per wise. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, what it even really is over here. He might just be IDing, but this is totally killing uh, this side pressure. It's just this side pressure can get you. That being said, Henry makes a quick read. Zone is terrible in this game, and the seam streak is open for a touchdown. All right, so uh, Abram's first possession is going to be in Bunch Strong Offset. Again, Abram is in the Chargers playbook, and he is going to be running a lot of Bunch Strong with Flood, and then he's also going to be getting into some of that Bunch X Nasty as well. Looks like it's going to be dollar for Henry, double safety walk down defense. Notice one of the things, uh, big takeaways from this tournament, is if you're running the Cover 6 Willie uh, Blitz, this is Pat Tillman. He does a really good job of running uh, this blitz. And again, this defense is also in our school community. Uh, so what you're going to see here from Henry is cover four off rip. Looks like that's going to be his base shell against Bunch Strong Offset. Starts out with a run with this new Icky Woods card. This card is really good. I think it has uh, this AKA tank, so he breaks a lot of tackles. Um, here we get, again, that cover four look from Henry. Looks like he's going to vert hook that solo side, and then he'll switch stick onto it probably to go take a drag. Here we're going to get this first auto motion play and hits that corner in a nice little pocket. Real crisp read from Abram there. One of the things you'll notice about these uh, players at this point in the year is you're getting a lot of really good, uh, really, really good reads like that right there. Um, I think Henry ultimately, if we take a look at his shell, I'm not sure if he, I'm not sure what happens, but I know Skimbo's talked a little bit about this, but sometimes with the cover six Willie, this quarter right here will do some weird stuff. And you'll see right here, um, it's a four strong, I believe. And you get this, kind of combination here and basically this quarter just does dumbs out and he just goes this way and you're going to see abram's able just to throw 
lob streak touchdown. Obviously, that was labbed for cover six. Willie Henry is going to show us the replay himself. Um, and again, you see here four strong, so match should not be matching. This quarter does just completely glitches out, dumbs out. That's where you know, kind of a bad, you know, bad quality, bad product by EA, bad coding. Zone doesn't do what his own's supposed to do, and Abram gets a free touchdown out of it. Uh, obviously, Labbed obviously knows that because Cover Six Willie is um, one of the main defenses in this game. All right, so Bunch Nasty, and you're going to get this short side Bunch Nasty audibling into normal Y off close. You also have Trips Titan Flex in this offense. So you've got a Titan Seam Streak, some real simple combos. What makes this normal Y off close formation so effective is that it has the um it has the short post routes the short post routes to me are a madden staple and you can't really get them from hot routes this year like you could in pretty much every madden that i've played uh previously and so now you have to get a little bit more creative henry's going to go with a cover three beater uh, over here on the left side and uh, just checks it down a drag and actually just busts a drag and able to get in the end zone and it's going to be a 14 to 7 ball game and as you can see i mean Henry, normally a defensive player. Abram, normally a little bit more of an offensive player. This year's game, everybody's good on offense. Everybody is terrible on defense. Just because of the way the game plays, this is arguably the most offensive Madden we've ever seen. And it is, in my opinion, you know, due to the coding and the, just the bad zones. The zones zones just don't zone on, at the end of the day. Man coverage is decent, but man coverage ultimately is man coverage. And it's not if it's not as good as it was in Madden 21, it's really not going to be good enough. So here you see another shell from Henry, a uh, little vert hook here, hard flat. I guess he's watching the game from Henry's perspective only, uh, which is interesting that that's how these watch parties went. Um, but good for us because we get to see the adjustments of one of the best defense players in the world. So, um, again, cover six really here. Now, you will get a match concept, but he did shade it down. When you shade that coverage down, that cancels that match concept. And you're going to hit that seam streak. And the, the crazy part to me, as you see, he's going to score a touchdown. That's an inside quarter. Like, that's an inside quarter that just literally doesn't play. And, I mean, this is, you know, this is <laughs> not good. Uh, not, not, you're kind of seeing some of the main flaws in the game. It's just seam streak central. It's, you know, zones dumbing out. It's broken tackles. You combine all these things together and it, it just truly makes for one of the most offensive Maddens we've ever seen. Um, which is, I guess at the end of the day, what they want. The product is working as intended. So anyways, uh, smash return and we have a drag route and a flat route going to the same area of the field. Pro I'd like to see a slant there from the tight end, but Obviously, Henry's, you know, there for a reason. So we'll see here. Second and five, going to go to the normal off close. Kind of an interesting combo. Don't see this combo a lot out of normal off close, but actually wide open. And uh, you're seeing, I mean, the pace that these guys are, not just the pace, but the rhythm they're playing with offensively. You're just seeing, like, it's it's pretty effective. There's this audible quick, and Henry likes to play with pace. He likes to play with um, audible around, get a quick hike. That's a nice read, almost a pick though. Great switch stick by Abram. He switched it to the quarter and then he switched it to the outside quarter. Pretty decent little adjustment. One of the challenges with this show blitz alignment um, is these outside corners can, um, they can get bombed. And you see here, good switch stick by Abram and Henry just gonna, Henry just gonna run the ball. Third and five situation 14 to 14 ball game i believe that abram gets ball at half i want to say because nobody's gotten a stop yet and looks like what we're going to do for henry is going to be that dagger setup that's that corner route this is a great uh underrated thing that a lot of people i don't see enough people doing this corner route um if you even if you just put it like this this high what this does is it creates a high low on whoever the flat defender is. So one of these two players typically is going to be the flat defender. And normally what you're going to get is quarter, quarter, right? You're going to get a lot of this. This is a hard flat. You have to hard flat because if you don't, this is wide open. This is wide open. So this throw right here really breaks down this coverage well. And you're going to see 
that kind of result. So watch here, you get a flat or a man up, and then you have inside quarter, outside quarter, but watch this outside quarter. You see this is the way this game plays. This isn't even a set feet lead thing. This is just straight up how this game plays. And you just see that outside quarter just never plays it. He'll never play it. It has to do with the physics of the motion of the defenders, the way the defenders turn their hips, the way the defenders run. This is literally a mechanical thing in the game. And the only real way to stop it is to give everybody deep zone KO and actually make the KOs work like they did last year. Um, and we don't have that at this point. And so you can just throw that. So Cole Komet. On the drag, kind of surprised to see Henry using Cole Komet. I don't know if his theme team is, but uh, he's got DK, Hyatt, Jackson. And then they've got uh, Icky Woods. So going to sale here. Should be a going to fade, a post, flat. A lot of this, uh, a lot of, honestly, a lot of the same play from different players. You know, seam streak, post. Pa uh, backside flat, backside drag, right? Stuff like that is very much uh, what he's been doing so far. And it's been very consistent for him. Uh, he's going to go to trips, tight and flex. First time we've seen him go to this formation. It's one of the best formations in the game. Just going to have four streaks, basically. Uh, and he is going to throw the ball away. I think that's actually the second time he went. I think he went to trips the first play of the game. 3-3-5 three, three, odd does do a decent job against trips, tight end. Um in terms of just being able to, it's hard to block the blitz from trips. Normal off close is going to go to that cheap flat post again. Double streaks here to the left side with a little drag. And there's that drag route in. Good read. Going to get him inside the five red zone opportunity coming up. See what Henry has in the Madden red zone, Madden goal line, if you will like this little short corner. It's actually a really good dot. Love that. I haven't seen that a lot, honestly, thrown this year. But he goes with a short corner or a, a tight end's corner stemmed all the way down, and it just gets over the top of that hard flat defender, puts that defender in conflict, able to high ball it right over the top of him, and now Abram's going to get the ball back. This is actually like the pace at which these guys are scoring. This is going to be like a 50-50 to 50 game. Uh, so he moves this guy out a little bit. I haven't seen that a lot. Here's your coverage. He is 30 now at this point, trying to kind of get this thing to not dumb out. And Abram goes to a run. Henry kind of reads that and gets into a good place to shoot the gap. I don't know if he moves these safeties back, if that helps. Or what It does look like he's moving this guy a little bit. Is this edge blitz? Nope, this is cover six wheel. He's going to contain this left side, but not this side. Uh, good pass pro from Abram. It actually gets pretty good pressure. That's... You can't be mad at the pressure, honestly. I feel like cover six Willie is still really good, and it's only a four-man blitz. The thing about dollar blitzes is you don't need them to come in every time. You just need just enough pressure that they start having to at least kind of feel the pressure. People that play dot when you play dollar, what you don't want the thing people don't want to do is they don't want to block anybody. Uh, when they play dollar this year, you don't people don't want to block anybody. If you can get enough pressure that ultimately forces them to block. The coverage from Dollar is, is so effective uh, that you can kind of take advantage of that. But it's literally, look at this shell. This has pretty much been the entire game. It's just basically cover four. Um, a couple little adjustments here and there, but it's essentially a cover four shell. And really what he's trying to do, I think, if I, I'm almost positive, he's trying to keep him in front of him. He's trying, to, in this case, he's trying to make him take enough time that when Henry gets the ball back, he can go clock the, clock the half uh, as well. But honestly, it's a lot of cover four. Uh, it's a lot of cover six, right? But cover four, cover six shells, those are the predominant shells that you see this game. If you don't have shaded down yells, if you don't have hard flats, it's too easy to throw underneath. Uh, but if you don't have inside quarters, it's too easy to throw seam streaks. And so you kind of see like people are basically forced into the same shell, which is why it's fairly predictable offensively to be able to put route combos on the field that are going to be very, very effective against that. Uh, so I think that he might be running. I don't know what he just did there. I don't know if he audibled or what. Flipped the play at the line of scrimmage. Good scramble there. That you just The thing that you don't want to see uh, if you're in dollar is you send cover six Willie and they scramble. 
Uh, four three even six one for Henry in the red zone. This is Abrams' first, I think, true red zone attempt. So we'll see what Henry's got defensively in the red zone, what Abram has offensively. But it's going to be six one for Henry. And he is going to be sending a five man blitz off this right side. Looks like he just uses the stock blitz angles and hard flat, some cross manning. And Abram is going to run the ball. And good tackle by Henry. The thing you don't want to do uh, when you're playing this Icky Woods card, or really anybody that has this ability, is you don't want to hit stick it. All right, shotgun wing pair for Abram. Now he's going to audible down to single back. I think this is wing tight. Look for a stretch here. Good run. Yeah, that was that very easily could have been stopped, but he ends up scoring. And there you go. Henry is going to get the ball back with two minutes. This is prime time for Henry able to clock this if he wants to. And because Abram gets ball at half, probably the right decision here would be just to try to clock this and go into halftime either up three or up seven. But really not wanting to give Abram the ball back here is kind of important. And Abram is pretty much, from what I've seen, it is really interesting to me that Abram plays a lot of zone in this game because when he plays Lambo, he ran, he ran a lot of man coverage. So and this this is more of a zone look consistently. So it's just maybe and they the Lambo and Henry run the same offense. So it's kind of interesting. Um, user and and the thing for for uh, notice for Abram, the very similar to Henry in terms of primarily a cover four shell looking to. Looking to basically switch stick onto one of the four quarter zones and lurk, you know, something like that. So you're, you're starting. I kind of said that I thought this would, would happen uh, at the beginning of the year that switch stick is ultimately going to lead everybody to a cover four shell and you're just going to be switch sticking based off the combo. Kind of what we're seeing um, is send for cover four shell is, is kind of what we're seeing so far. Fourth and four, throws right at the user. Doesn't matter. Now I will say, Lam or um, Abrams user was behind, but I mean, still just shows, kind of shows how users just. It's hard to use or anything in this game, which is which is hilarious because their basic thing for defense this year was switch stick. That was a great read. Abrams switch stick to that quarter to go take that guy, and then that post opened up right behind him. Super nice. Normal Y off close for Henry. He loves this Y sale. It's a lot of Y sale. Uh, now what we're going to get is two. We're going to speed out to the right and a corner. He's going to look for the speed out, throw the speed out. And basically what Henry did was um, essentially the same combo on both sides of the field. You switch stick to one. I throw the other is essentially what Henry, Henry did. And Henry's starting to get a feel a little bit for Abram's switch stick as well. So, and there's a little seam streak and able to get down to the one. This is working out really well for Henry. Abram does have the timeouts. It is kind of a, a, a weird spot though, because Henry doesn't have any timeouts. So even though he's on the one yard line, he's only got 16 seconds. He can't really run the ball here. If you do run the ball, it's like, I don't know. I just feel like you really can't run the ball here. So he's going to go back to that red zone combo level sail with a flat looking for these in routes. That is so ch Ah, oh, Henry. This is basically the same pick he threw against Wesley in last year's Madden Bowl. It's really good defense by Abram. Honestly, that vert hook on the left side does a good job. Um, it, yeah, I mean, it's just not open. I mean, we just got to throw this away. Like, ah, uh, yeah. Henry probably wants to have that throw back. Abram able to get a stop. That's a huge, huge red zone stop. And he's just going to run the ball here probably when – Wing pair Abram is probably fully content with just going to half and uh, taking taking a taking a ball at half. All right, second half of Henry and Abram. Henry is going to be kicking off here. Another thing a lot of these guys are using is the Jason Elam kicker. Probably the I really like that this year that they did that. The team captains are. Um, they still get all the theme teams, but you got uh, special teams with that. 
All right, here we go. Henry going to start out going off sides. Not sure why, but why not? Uh, probably just reset certain, setting things up, certainly. And here we go. Abrams ball. And Henry now going to be, it looks like he's going to go to a little bit more DB fire. Haven't seen a lot of this. Uh, notice he's going to move these guys down a little bit. This is going to help them come in a little bit faster. Uh, and with this contain logic, he did pinch the D line. So this is a tell that he is in DB fire. Uh, more than likely, and actually that's pretty decent pressure, and honestly, that that was good. That was probably his biggest chance of a stop. He did switch stick to that quarter. He did jump the seam streak. He just, you know, not able to get there because that's just the story of users in this game, honestly. Um, little duo. The one thing about Dollar uh, and the one thing about DB Fire is it's very weak against the duo, uh, and Chargers – does have that duo run. That duo runs very, very, very good. Here he's going to bluff that he's in DB fire. He's actually in cover six Willie. He's got hard flats across the board. Uh, this is basically just cover six Willie hard flat with a man up on that solo. Uh, good. That's actually perfect defense and uh, forces a throwaway. So now we get a third and fourth situation. And you're seeing Henry starting to play better defense as the game goes on. So we'll see kind of how that is going to uh, work out. He is going to go DB fire too. hard, basically hard flats, trying to jump things quick. Problem in this game is when you play a shell like this, there's just, it's a, just a lot open with the seam streaks and you really, he did actually adjust out of back into a, basically a cover four, but you see, I mean, when you, when you only have one defender that can be over the middle of the field, that's what makes cover four vulnerable is all of these routes over the middle of the field are open um, and then if you cover those routes under the middle field, then, you know, the sidelines open. And so it's just one of those things where it's just hard to be right defensively this year. Um, and the, that, that to me, um, you know, just whatever. I, I just can't stand the fact that they did these watch parties. I, I really don't like that they're doing that. Uh, but anyways, uh, soft squat here to left side, trying to take care of the cheap motion. Uh, good defense, and notice that he has to switch stick onto the cheap motion, and the reason why is because those cheap motion plays absolutely kill cover too. So again, you're really funneling people into this basic basic coverage. You have to basically play cover four um, or some cross manning, but cover two will never work. Um, this year because the soft squats can't carry the the cheap motion right so it's it's just hard to be right this year defensively it really is and you see henry's trying to get a stop he's doing a lot of adjusting it's one of those things it's just seriously how this game plays i don't feel like adjustments really matter that much to the point that i almost don't even teach them anymore because henry just did a lot of cross a lot of adjusting and he's got lasered for 30 yards like He's working so hard defensively trying to get a stop, and there's just – it really is a game. This is just a game this year where your best chance at a stop is cover four, switch sticking on a quarters. It really is right now. So, and, and, and then the other thing, ultimately, I think the best chance truly of getting a stop is forcing a red zone, forcing a stop in the red zone. So here we go, kind of the way Abram stopped Henry with the red zone pick. Hopefully here, you know, or this is this is where Henry's trying to kind of get his stop as well. So – We'll see motion out the back. Got a purple user in user in the DN. Not a bad idea. This play is pretty good, but that out route. Oh, and that's the beauty of high balls in this game. Sometimes they just randomly go through their hands. Sometimes they just randomly go out of bounds. Third and goal for Abram. Can play cover two to the left. Problem with cover two is the deep halves just don't guard anything. I mean, that's literally like the story of this game. You got to have quarter zones because the seam streak. So there's quarters. He's got clouds on the outside. This looks decent. Uh, this is a coverage. We're going to send four here. Looks like trying to get this A-gap. Doesn't even try to engage with the A-gap. Uh, that was your pick again. But high ball, the one beauty of high balls, it's almost impossible to throw an interception on a high ball. And Henry gets a red zone stop. So the two stops in this game so far have basically been red zone stops. Um, kind of super, super, uh, I guess it, it just shows when two really good players play one another that this is how it goes typically, uh, this year. It's it kind of kind of come down to red zone stop, onside kicks, uh, things like that. So, anyway, good read by Henry to the flat. But again, just because of how powerful seam streaks are, you basically these guys almost have to always be on a quarter zone 
if you have seam streak threats. So you see seam streak threat, seam streak threat, quarter, quarter. It's cover four every play, right? And that's where, honestly, the fact that we're getting stopped when we know the, the coverage, it's interesting. Um, you know, got a more, more that combo with the corner route that was really effective. But And here you see, here's the corner route. He uses the corner route, post was wide open. That's a great combo. That was a great combo for cover four, but just got screamed at. You know, it's send five, send four, cover four show, and basically hope the blitz gets there before the corner or the post gets open. Now we have a fourth and 18. That's the first fourth down of the game. Henry is going to try to block the blitz, throws that, gets that, catches that, and there you go. Same straight threats. Safeties have to be down in the box. This is one of the beauties of trips tight in, by the way. Um, let me just show you this real quick. So safeties are in the box, but watch this audible to trips. When he audibles to trips, this audible is one of the underrated reasons why this is so good is when they do the show blitz alignment, you can't, he doesn't move. So you can't like this defender. He, he, if you show blitz normally, he would be out here against trips because you audible to it. He's in here, which is kind of underrated. And then what's basically going to happen is this is a quarter zone. This is a quarter zone, right? And so what does that do against this verticals play? Well, this same streak, if it's not manned up, which I don't know how this was not manned up, um, is wide open. So this is a great kind of situationally. Uh, this is a really good combo for where the meta is. Look, this guy doesn't touch him. If this this is always open. This is this has been open for years in this game. Um, I just you can't. That's just not a great coverage. If that's a half, that might be a li play a little better. But yeah, just not a great coverage call. Not a great decision defensively on that. And that's just one of those things. You got to man that guy up. But the reason he probably didn't, honestly, is potentially for that speed out. But in general, you know, that, that's just how big of a threat these seam streaks are in this game. So fourth and 18, relatively one of the easiest ways to complete a fourth and 18 that I've seen in MCS. Uh, but first and 10. And next play, D-line pick. This is how you get stops in this game. And this is honestly on Henry. If you watch this play, um, this blitz is 100%. You're going to get a contain. You're going to get a contain. And then you're going to get a blitz, right? This is basically pinch DB fire from last year. The The reason this is so good uh, or not so or so bad by Henry is watch his quarterback. What is this? He's trying to I – I would assume he's doing this because he's drifting away from the blitz for a second, which is probably his way of like – Henry's Henry's he he does get instant shadow by the contain, but his probably his probable plan here is to try to hit this post right here, uh, and he's probably throwing a wide open player. Or, no, he is throwing the ball away. He is throwing the ball away. Doesn't throw the ball away quick enough, um, and just I'm telling you, this is now to be fair. I mean, you know, Madden 25 truly is a game of mistakes. You make a mistake with your switch stick, it could be a touchdown. You make a mistake with your pocket present, it could be a D-line pick. You make a mistake, you know, you know what I'm saying? So ultimately, uh, Henry makes the, the two biggest mistakes in the game so far, and Abram has a two-possession lead because of it. So it's pretty significant. Henry needs to get seven here on this drive, and he needs to get a stop uh, defensively. Well, it, it, if he gets seven here and gives himself enough time, he can onside and basically try for a red zone stop. So we'll see what he ends up doing. Uh, but again, just notice his pocket presence. Notice that the, the, with this blitz, you see, see here he steps right up and boom, and a little different result. He so just kind of a, a little thing, but kind of a big thing. And ultimately, I think this is you know, if Abram ends up winning this game, this is going to be one of the main reasons why. I haven't seen anyone call this formation all year long. This was a really good formation of Madden thirteen. On the left, close, going to Y sale. He calls a lot of Y sale, a lot of Y sale. That's a great class. I played really well for that zone. Cole Komet on the corner, three seventy two touch or three touchdowns, two picks, red zone pick and D line D line pick. All right, four minutes fifty six seconds. Plenty of time here. Honestly, you just got to score. This corner round as a cloud. That's a nice seam streak. So. This is super important. This is why everything is funneled into cover four. This is like so relevant. So Aram has got a backed off corner. And the reason you do this is so you can play a cloud flat. Because if this is a corner, this this cloud actually will play it. Okay, this year. It actually plays. 
for the most part. The problem is, what do you do with these safeties? Do you half or do you quarter? Because the combo is streak corner. If this is a half, this guy is so... Look how far away he is from the tight end. He can't play anything. So let's take a look at the coverage post-snap. Okay, so you see that this is a quarter, and this is a quarter. But just based off of alignment alone and how good uh, catching traffic is, so it's quarter, 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 half, hard flat, or man up. It's not bad defense, but it's just one of those things. This is an inside pass lead every time. And because look at this catching traffic. You just never knock it. That's why KOs are important. And it really is because what people don't understand about KOs is it's two things. It's the break on ball and it's the chance to be able to knock something like that out because otherwise it's the most free touchdown ever, even though you have the adjustment there to stop it. I'm cool if that's a deep half and that's a touchdown. I hate that you got two inside quarters there and they just can't play. They, they, they literally just can't do anything. Um, so anyway, Henry is going to go for the onside. We'll see if he has an onside kick labbed and right to Jackson Smith. Bah. And Henry is going to go to six one. So first time we've seen Henry in six one outside of the red zone. So he's changing defenses mid game. He's going to send five. This is his version of the send five. Didn't get any pressure. And Abram throws a tight end. I don't know why he dived. I think he was trying to fall down. Henry's going to stay in the 6-1. Let's just take a look, see. Looks like eh, nothing really doing there, nothing there. That's not bad defense, though. Ends up getting the, sh the sack. The thing about 6-1, I want you to notice, I don't think I saw Abram block his running back at all. He's blocking tight end. So what this does, this is why having a blitz threat is so key. Now you have a six-man pass pro, one, two, three, four, versus one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. That is why it is important to have some type of blitz threat that people have to respect. They have to block uh, because when they have to block, then you have seven on four, better chance of getting a stop that way. So let's see what he ends up doing here. He's going to send. You don't even have to necessarily blitz much. You just have to blitz some. He's going to throw that. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so Henry Henry made that bad read down here. This is technically not the red zone, but it's close. Uh, Abram, I don't know. I think what he's trying to do, it's just a bad decision. Ultimately, it is second down too, which makes it even worse. It's not a fourth down. It's a high point free form up and in, and Woolen with pick artist just absolutely does his job. Um, that's why you want a big, these big safeties. You want big, tall players at safety so they can do that against high points. If you have a small, if that's a small safety, that's probably a touchdown or at the worst, a swat. Um, so that's huge for Henry. Henry is now back in the game and basically all is forgiven, right? He gets that stop. That's just honestly a bad read by Abram, bad decision. Um, maybe not even necessarily a bad read, but a bad decision. Seam streak, out route, wide open, good read. Uh, Henry runs a lot of speed outs. Didn't get his feet in bounds, I guess, there. The one thing with speed outs that I just hate is I feel like the speed outs are so, like, it's like they're really good, but then they, like, that happens sometimes. Good read. He loves that short post. Henry goes normal while off close pretty much every single play, too. He has not called a lot of stuff out of bunch, which for Henry is really odd. Um, but you see here, drag. That's just a great read. And again, he's just breaking down that cover four every single time. It's cover four every single time for Abram. It's not like it's cover four or maybe a cloud on that on that side typically, right? Um, but see, if I'm Abram, I almost think you move the safety. I almost think you have to start moving safeties, but I don't know. He's going to go doubles close to the RPO. He had the RPO bubble. Bubble's wide open. Look at this. Look at how open this bubble is. Watch. So the re so you're not really worried about this guy. You're reading these two. If these two crash, you normally would throw this. And I don't know why he doesn't. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch. 
boom. This is, I mean, maybe he played. I don't know, maybe. But this is, like, free. So, I guess he just wanted to work some clock. Maybe. I don't know. Henry is trying to make this last drive uh, and basically end with a touchdown. He is a little early, but in general, this is fairly a straightforward clock. You just got to get a couple first downs here running back. Good read. Get first down. You want to stay in bounce there, but it's not that big of a deal. He should run the ball first play here. Uh, it doesn't. He's going to pass. Why is he passing? Another D-line pick. <laughs> This uh, this is unfortunate. So here's what I'm saying. It's a lot of this. This has been the combos pretty much all game, right? Pretty much all game. Uh, I'd want to see a corner route over here. I don't know if he did that or not. But just get screamed at, man. Just This is the five out, you know. Henry likes to send five out, and it just it, you're a little more susceptible to D-line picks. Look at the blitz, just screams. Good user. He tries to throw it away. He's, a, he's honestly just a little late. Like Both of the D-line picks, Henry was just a little late on his throwaway. That could be a thing where it's Cunningham's release. But there's your D-line pick, and now you're back to a two-score game, and you really, really hurt yourself. Three interceptions for Henry. Two D-line picks, but three interceptions. Streak doesn't run right. Tight ends open. It's crazy. See, I love the I love this combo though. Watch watch this. This is such a good play. You got that post drag. You got a seam streak. I'm a. I think this honestly might be the best offense in the game. I just don't know how you stop it without a KO. I think it's much better than bunch. Honestly, I mean he he literally. If you look at this game. Henry, the way Henry got stopped was to a, de to a degree, you could say he stopped himself. You know, two D-line picks, a red zone pick, red zone pick on first down, I believe. And it was just like, it, you watch it, it was just not open. And, oh, he throws four. There's his fourth pick. Wow. Gosh. Uh, so right here, uh, this is actually, honestly... Kind of one of the interesting things about 335 odd. So uh, what can happen from time to time is this guy uh, can basically just absolutely like, like beat him so bad he's in front of him. So if you watch this real quick, you're going to see. I don't know if it's a match thing or not. But it's basically, this might have been a soft squat, honestly. This, this could have been, I could see this being a soft squat. But you see how DK is so ahead of him? He gets so out in front of him. Like, if this is a streak, it's a touchdown. But it's a speed out. So when he goes to cut, this corner is there. This guy's wide open. And I, eh. and normally you probably don't even get your feet down in there, right? It's probably, you know, anyway. Ah, so there's four interceptions. This is insane. And honestly, I think Abram threw one. And it was a bad one, I would say. I'd say Abrams was a bad one. I mean, you have a chance to pretty much put the game away, and on second down, we. So, anyway, one strong offset. This is six one. He's kind of just sending four. I think you know six one's going to give him a decent chance to stop the run too. Of course, I say that, and Icky Woods breaks tackles. Fourth and two. A little punt, punt from Abram. All right. Yeah, I just, man, the three D-line picks and a red zone pick's tough. Three D-line picks is pretty bad. Or I guess it was technically two D-line picks and then a crazy pick by Prime. But you could definitely say that Henry did, things did not go Henry's way this game. I really like this play, though. It's going to go double streaks. I don't like that. Tight end short corner. That's a good switch. It's a good switch deck. Kind of made Henry have to like hold the ball a little longer. Let's see. 
I'm gonna go Trey Trips Flex. I'm surprised he didn't go to Trips Flex much or more. Double seams corner, good read. Now you see, I mean, if you play cover four, then it's hard to defend a a solo wide receiver corner route. But if you play cover two, the seams are open. So it's like, what do you do? You switch stick, you hope for a D-line pick. <laughs> so here we got double seams. This is really good against cover two. This is really good against cover two. It's not good against cover hard flat, which is why you have this combo on the left side. He is going to take that running back route. It did also make that guy have to blitz. Red zone possession for Henry. There's that verticals play again. I want you to watch. Watch this slot. Now you see the reroute, and that just changes everything about that. Had he done that on that fourth down, he probably gets the stop there. And to a degree, it's <laughs> got to give Abram credit. I mean, he overall outplayed him. Um, I think Henry just made some big mistakes. Here you see that in match it. And he's just taking it away that. And that's what I'm saying. That that fourth and 18 was, you know, it's like you can't give him the seam streak on that, though. But, anywho, motion post. The safety is going to be in a quarter. No, he's going to man him up. Oh, that's open. Good read. That's a good read from Henry, honestly. It's hard to user that. Like, the user's there. Uh, you want to, you know, generally, like, you want to see this be played. But... It's a good switch stick, but I mean, you just, it's just the way this game plays, man. Like, he, look at this. This is an out of reach. I don't even know that it was a high point. I don't think it was a high point either. It was just out of reach. That's just how the user is in this game. Onside kick for Henry. Oh, got a shot at it and doesn't get it. And that's going to be that. Henry is going to lose. And Abram is going to move on to the semifinal game. I want to thank you guys for watching this film room. If you guys enjoyed the video, let me know in the comments below. And uh, if you guys want to check out Clef the God's channel, I'll put a link to his Twitch in the description.